You are listening to Amplify Your Success Podcast, episode 150. And today, let's talk about what to do when you need some inspiration and motivation, but you've got none. So let's get started. Welcome to the Amplify Your Success Podcast. Hey, are you a thought leader, creative entrepreneur, or change maker and want to magnify your impact, boost influence while creating a financial abundance? Stay tuned for today's inspiring episode with your host, Melanie Benson. Hey there, inspired entrepreneurs and business leaders. It's your host, Melanie Benson, profit amplifier for expert entrepreneurs and online business owners. And today, I thought we would kind of keep it real, have a super authentic conversation about being motivated and how to like pull up your motivation and get things done when you really don't feel like doing it. All right, show of hands. Oh, right, I can't see you. Okay, make sure you comment on today's show page or in the Fire Success community who really struggles sometimes to get the things done that really need to get done and you know they need to get done and you've got zero motivation, zero energy in the tank. Your focus is all over the place. So I've been having a few of these days lately. Uh, If I have not shared this with you before, I've been dealing with some energy issues over the last few years, dealing uh, or connected back to some of my, um, I have some chronic fatigue and some uh, hormone imbalance stuff that really contributes to that. And there's been layers and layers. Let's just put it that way. I'll do a whole episode on that another time. But what happens from time to time, if I push myself a little too hard, I just get wiped out. Uh, And sometimes I just really don't want to do some of the things that need to get done. And if I'm keeping it totally real with you today, I did not want to record an episode for this week. It was time to do a solo episode. I've got some amazing guests lined up, but I knew like deep down inside I needed to do a solo episode. So I was telling my husband uh, that I was really kind of struggling with getting this uh, week's podcast episode recorded. And he said, babe, that's what you should record your episode about. Don't we love supportive partners? <laughs> There's, they just know what they need to say to you to get you out of that funk and back into momentum. And honestly, that's what a good coach can do for you too, right? So today, I just want to share some tidbits about how to ramp back into focus, clarity, being energized and inspired to do a task you don't really want to do. So before I dig in, I want to check in. Have you registered for your free seat in the November Own Your Bold Influence Challenge? It starts November 4th. It is free during the challenge. You absolutely do not want to miss this. If you are someone who, A, you feel like you're invisible uh, amongst your peers and colleagues, you watch all of your fancy uh, peers who seem to just be this magnet for opportunity and clients get all of the visibility and you feel like you're not getting any or you don't have enough. And maybe you struggle a little bit with how do I actually explain what I do in a way that makes people want to join? Maybe you are the kind of person who you like to, uh, you kind of go on and on and on about what you do, but the eyes glaze over, right? The Own Your Bold Influence Challenge is going to walk you through a five-day process that starts with clarity of of what that bold influence goal needs to be. What do you need to step into? So you are on fire. Your fierce warrior energy drops back in in a loving, heart-based way. And you are grounded in steps to take to propel your impact, propel your income, and your business visibility to a whole new level. So head over to ownyourboldchallenge.com, sign up for your free seat and watch for the invitation to upgrade your ticket to the influencer experience. I promise you it'll be worth every penny and let's get you some massive visibility. All right, now let's talk about what to do when the fire is gone and you need to buck up and get some stuff done. First of all, I want to reference back to you um, my morning power routine. 
it's an episode I did in the first year. I will link it into the show notes for you, or mm-hmm. you can search in uh, wherever you listen to my podcast for Morning Power Routine. I believe it's in the first 30 episodes. This is one of the keys. I was working with a client a few years back and she was really in a major major funk. She was dealing with some life situations that were draining her. She wasn't inspired to really take on the challenge of growing her business, but she desperately needed to bring money in. And so I challenged her to do a morning power routine every day for 21 days. And at the end of those 21 days, she kept going because she said she had more energy more clarity and more passion again for her work than she had had in probably 10 years. So it works. And so if you're, one of the things I did this morning was do some of the elements in my morning power routine. Now, again, full disclosure, I'm in the middle of a major launch of a lot of moving parts, a lot of things getting changed in the back end. You're gonna wanna stay tuned because we're getting ready to announce also our 2020 mastermind and we will have very limited seats in that. So there's a lot of stuff going on and I haven't been neglecting some of the pieces of my morning power routine. Little shout out to my gorgeous, amazing friend, Debbie Adea over at Spiritual Entrepreneur and Podcasting on Purpose. She's one of the people in the influencer experience for our challenge members. She was saying with me over the weekend and she's like, let's meditate. And I'm like, oh, oh, yes, yes, I have not been doing this. So got back on track and it really has been supporting me on these mornings that I'm just a little all over the place. My energy is low and I don't have the inspiration. So number one, meditate, get connected to whatever sources for you. If that's prayer, if that's reading your spiritual text, Uh, If it's doing affirmations, do something to get yourself grounded. There is something very powerful about getting grounded because most of the time, if you're not feeling like doing something, you've probably been pushing yourself really hard. You've been doing a lot of things you don't want to do and you don't like doing to grow your business. Maybe you've been on the road a lot or you've been eating off diet and you've been eating a lot of crap food, whatever that is. If you are lacking motivation, chances are you need to infuse power and inspiration back into your routine. And you can take ownership of that. So that's step number one. Step number two is find something in your task load. So if you're like me and you write out all the tasks that need to get done, but you don't wanna do anything on that list, here's a little motivation, we'll call it a hack just cause that's a popular word these days. But a little motivation trick is look at that list and find the thing you feel most inspired to do and do it first. Even if you feel a lot of pressure to get something else done, if you can do a task that brings you brings you back into inspiration, that inspiration gets contagious. Like it, Think of it like a snowball that's gathering momentum as it goes down the hill and you'll pick up more motivation, okay? Um, The third, so that's number two, is do something that will bring you inspiration. The third thing is own it. If the, if doing a morning power routine, going for a walk, getting, you know, grounded, doing meditation, eating something healthy, if you have to have a cup of coffee, right? You've done the morning power routine, you've tried doing an inspiration task and it's not creating that momentum and energy for you, then the third step is own it. And that means reach out to your coach, If you're in a mastermind, reach out to one of your mastermind members. Uh, If you don't have that, call a friend and say, I am really low today and I need somebody to give me an injection of inspiration. Okay, so that's the third thing. When you own it, what you're doing is you're taking the kind of the shame and the blame and there's a part of us that knows we should want to do something and so we're really layering a lot of pressure on ourselves and just having a quick chat with a friend or a long chat with your coach whatever that is can really serve you well it might help you figure out why you're procrastinating and holding back maybe you're going the wrong direction maybe some reflection on um, how to really connect with your your own uh, inspiration source again will, would be helpful. Okay, so don't try to do it all on your own. So that's number three. And I'll give you a fourth one. And the fourth one is something that I will often turn to, especially if I'm driving or 
uh, I'm just really in a bad place and I can't mm -hmm. find my way through, which does happen from time to time, is I'll start listening to some podcasts. I mean, listen to some episodes of Amplifier Success. Uh, if you have another podcast you listen to regularly that, that you haven't listened to lately, maybe go listen to an episode that really pulls you in. Find some way to borrow inspiration and motivation from someone else. And a lot of times on these uh, podcast interviews, you're hearing someone's story, you're listening to strategies that worked for them, like lean into their inspiration. Lean into their enthusiasm, their passion for what they do. And fifth, okay, so fourth would be listen to podcast episodes. Fifth, go find some motivating affirmations or quotes and read a whole bunch of them and remind yourself how you're supposed to be thinking today. Now, I want to be in, in the truth that if you are truly, truly burned out, you may just need to take a break, right? You need to walk away. You need to just go to the beach for the day, go for a hike in nature. You might just have to blow everything off and start over. And there are days I do that. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I am toast. I can't do any of it. I'll clear my schedule. I'll take a, a me day and I'll go down to the beach and walk the dog or I'll go run some errands or I might go to the spa or go get my nails and something to get some oxytocin rushing through my body. And that helps. So let's just make that number six. If none of the above works, go take a me day. Go let yourself have some time to regroup, re-energize, step away from it all, and then try steps one through five before you come back the next day. There may be some things that are not on this list that work for you. I want to hear about them. Come join us in Amplify Your Success community. And let's share some things that work for you to reignite that passion and enthusiasm. And if you're taking the Own Your Bull challenge with us, I guarantee you motivation and inspiration will not be a problem. I can guarantee you one thing. You will get into momentum and you will find camaraderie in the Empire Success community, which is where we run the challenge, to bust out a level of power and focus you probably haven't had in a long time. So find something, but make it work for you. Do the thing that you can uh, authentically and enthusiastically, enthusiastically say yes to today. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you soar. I don't want to. I don't want anyone stuck in their uh, funk. And these are some things that can help. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on today's episode. And we'll be back next week with some more power-packed conversations. This is Melanie Benson, your host. Thanks so much for listening in today. If you want to catch up on any of the show notes and circle back on any of the resources we shared in today's show, head on over to the show page at AmplifyYourSuccessPodcast.com. And remember, you amplify your results faster when you're in a community of other people who are moving and shaking. Join us at AmplifyYourSuccessCommunity.com. One last thing. When you've gained insight from today's episode, help us share that and inspire other people by heading over to iTunes, subscribing, and give it a review. iTunes absolutely loves seeing these reviews pop up, and it actually helps boost my show's visibility. So I would be super grateful for your reviews. And as always, I love seeing your shares of these episodes on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Come find me over there. Tag me in your shares. I'll give you some social media love right back. So see you next week for another inspiring episode of Amplify Your Success Podcast. <music>